We're at the field with the Mario Mini and we've just done a couple of changes and a couple of tests to it. The first one you're going to see is going to be a top speed test. I noticed after the top speed test I did the other day that the throttle was lim limited to 88%. So can we hit that 135 kilometers an hour or 83 miles per hour that Speedy B say that we can hit? Let's find out. So we've changed a couple of the settings on the Mario Mini, not least because it was actually set to 80% throttle. And I've also moved the antenna so it's sideways and sort of held on by the battery. So that'll give us an indication as to whether or not that helps the low signal quality. And to be fair, we're at minus 60 now. So I think that change, that one change, is more than enough we're at minus 52 yes we've fixed or we've solved the problem All right, let's speed run it 80 miles an hour now speed to be say the top speed of this is 83 miles per hour so we've got a headwind going that way i'm so glad that uh, the low signal quality has been resolved 85 miles an hour so actually faster than what speedy b say it will go or fast as fuck boy I know this has really caught the imagination of some of you guys and in all honesty it's caught my imagination too it's just such a fun little quad And I was very sceptical about it at first. But I think I approach a lot of these videos with some sort of scepticism or other. But I thought, well, the canopy looks nice, but is it going to be too heavy? Uh, with the fact that we're not carbon, is that going to be a problem? The everything included, the... The fact it's only 3S at this size when we know the Oasis Fly 25 and the Nexa or the Icon or well, the Icon and the Nexa at two and a half inches and 2.8 inches of 4S as well as obviously the Deep Space Seeker 3 as well so there was a lot of scepticism about it certainly for me anyway I don't know if you got in fact let's do a bit of a flick under the tree maybe some of you guys were skeptical as well I don't know you have to let me know in the comments so just to confirm you can hit the tree quite hard okay we're at 3.3 volts in this land really quick and the other change that we've made you can see we've removed the antenna from its housing and we've put it sideways on and just held down with the battery strap that completely changed the signal we're not getting any low warnings at all we flew to the other side of the field obviously with the visual line of sight officer normally over there we'd go to around about minus 60 or minus 55 and that's exactly what this was doing so just changing your antenna to that will 100 percent solve that issue shouldn't be like that but will it affect the top speed well we'll find out in this video let's freaking go youtube and i have had a chat and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most so watch it and let me know if they're right